available for me to take questions throughout the day. And uh, I start off because I feel like I'm in my honeymoon phase here working in life plus product planning. Uh, we had a very strong minor model change of the Odyssey in 2014. Uh, the CRV, as you guys know, has been a huge success here in 2015. Uh, met many of you a couple months ago at the HRV launch. Uh, we're only expecting good things about that. And then here we are again uh, to talk about our benchmark, our flagship CUV in the pilot. So I'm going to go over a little bit of the market details and the customer that we're going after with this vehicle. Uh, always like to start off with a busy chart. Uh, basically what it says is the mid CUV segment is where the pilot uh, competes in. And that segment is about 1.1 to a little over a million vehicles and that is forecasted out until 2019. Uh, this is Global Insight data. So basically this translates into about one out of every 15 cars sold When you look at the competitive battlefield, so moving out to about 2019, uh, we feel that the pilot uh, is very strategically positioned uh, to increase our market share and to uh, elevate our Honda brand. And when we say that is because when you look at the competitive set that the pilot uh, competes with, uh, we're the only one scheduled for a full model change for quite some time. So all of that stuff that Mark uh, mentioned to the feature content, the styling, uh, we're really going to uh, bring that forward at a, at a very optimal time uh, in the competitive battlefield. So after, uh, so when we plan for a vehicle, we the first question we ask is who's going to buy this this, this car. Uh, so we start with the customer first, and what we target with Pilot is somebody about 35 to 45 years of age, uh, married with one to two children, uh, very highly educated with good household income, and the benefit that we have at Honda is we actually have two models in our truck lineup that uh, fill a very similar customer. And that uh, second model is the Odyssey. Uh, so we have a very strong one-two punch when it comes to this family buyer. Uh, so for customers that are okay with the minivan styling and want the sliding doors and the extra utility, uh, they could step into an Odyssey. If they want more of the CUV styling, maybe some forward drive off-road, uh, we feel we have a great product here for the pilot. So after we go after this target buyer, uh, after we launch the car, uh, we look and we, we see how well did we do. Uh, so when you look at Pilot and its competitive set, uh, we do very well actually. Uh, the average buyer for the age of the Honda Pilot is 47 years old. Uh, that's roughly eight years younger than the other product and about seven years younger than the Explorer. So basically seven to eight years younger buyer than the other vehicles in our competitive set. Uh, that's defined also on that chart on the bottom left. Uh, pilot is the, the red line, and this is an age wave on a percentage basis. And if you look from 35, it might be a little small for you, but from 35 to like 45, 50 year old, we really get that spot. So it's really important that they come into the brand young, and as Jeff alluded to earlier, when they get out of the pilot, they either step into another pilot or another Honda product. So it's a very good business uh, product in our portfolio. For every one minute I look and to see why people buy our product and our competitors, I spend two minutes looking at why they would buy our product and competitors. Actually more than one or two, but the ratio wise. Um, so why do people buy a pilot or a mid CV? And the number one thing clearly is about a quarter of our sales is value for money. And back when we were kids, if you had a big family, dad drove a suburban and it got 10 miles per gallon and it took up you know, two thirds of the driveway. That's no longer the case in today's market. You're able to get third row utility, uh, for example, pilot standard eight passenger uh, at a good compact size. So uh, the mid CVs are really taking over those large SUVs that we were accustomed to growing up. But when you look at why people reject the pilot and the competitors, and this is what sort of really makes me mad, because they reject it for two things in particular, exterior styling and fuel economy. But when we launched pilot back in the and when we relaunched the minor model change in 2012, we were number one fuel economy in the segment. So fuel economy should not be a reject reason. But the overall styling of the current pilot, or the outlaw pilot, the boxy shape, scared some consumers. So they thought, they looked at it, they said, oh, that car doesn't get good fuel economy. Uh, so getting that feedback, we integrated all in with, with our wonderful development team to come up with a car that not only still gets best in class fuel economy, but looks like it gets best in class fuel economy. Uh, the number one reject reason is price. Uh, we see that whether I'm up here talking about the MDX, RLX, whatever that might be. So, 
looking at the trims, uh, we feel that with LX all the way up to the we have a trim, two and four wheel drive uh, that satisfies uh, a wide variety of customers. I'm not gonna go through each and every one of these. Uh, we sell about five to 6% LX. Uh, so that's more of our kind of our entry, uh, entry uh, customers that want to just simple transportation A to B. But on LX, you get all of the Earthrings technology, no more steel wheels, we went to an aluminum alloy wheel. Uh, but a majority of our customers step up, and they step up either to an EX, where they get the smart entry, as Mark mentioned, the remote car start starts at EX, uh, Honda uh, Lane Watch starts at EX, uh, and then leather. Step up the EXL, that's about 70% of our, 70 to 80% of our customers are leather trim, uh, whether that be EXL or Touring. Go to leather, you get power uh, moonroof and leather seats, of course, power tailgate. Uh, touring, that's, this is where the fun starts. You get the 20 inch alloy wheels, you get the Honda Sensen package as standard, and then our all new Elite trim, uh, which has pretty much everything you could possibly think you could put on a car we did uh, because we wanted to. And it's a really nice vehicle, you're going to drive a lot of it today. Uh, that gets you the panoramic roof and the LED lights and whatnot. Uh, but the thing I want to talk about, uh, Mark mentioned in his speech, probably several times is safety and all of, uh, no matter what product I'm working on, Honda, safety is a priority. Uh, so when you look at the blue bubbles, uh, this is uh, EX and EXL. Uh, so when we launched the 2015 CRV, we launched with the Honda Sensing. We were the first one to launch it on a mainstream type vehicle, uh, but we make it available, unfortunately, only on the Touring trim because it was a new technology now it's out to the market. So we're taking it a step further and we're bringing down the Honda Sensing package to roughly about 90% of our consumers, 90 to 95%. So if a customer doesn't want leather interior or power tailgate, then they would step into the EX trim. If they want all of that Honda Sensing technologies, uh, they get the EX with Honda Sensing. So now the customers have a choice whether or not they want all the Honda Sensing uh, features or they don't. Uh, so this is, again, another stride for Honda uh, on this particular Honda Sensing package. Our colors, uh, wide variety of colors, what's in uh, the red font is new. Uh, we're starting to actually see blue tick up, so we got a couple blue blues in our lineup. Uh, and then lastly, if you heard me talk at the HRV, uh, the black forest pearl, it's not the same green that we have on HRV, but it's uh, under the light, uh, under a canopy or whatnot, it really does pop and it uh, adds a lot <coughs> of uh, character to our lineup. And I've been working on Pilot for a little over seven years, and for about six and a half of those years, Sage Marine has come over to my desk asking me when am I going to offer a 20 inch black wheel. So, for lining up in our 2016 pilot accessories, among so many things is a 20 inch black wheel. There's a picture of a car there on the bottom right that MSRP is for about $75,000 because it has every feature and every accessory known to man on it. We don't have that car today, but it does look good. Uh, but again, uh, taking it a step further though, but then I'll, then I'll this is an active vehicle, and we want to be able to offer accessories for anybody who wants to dress up their car after the sale or during the sale. It will be built in Alabama as it is today. It's going to go on sale in what, 48 days, uh, so we're very excited about it. Uh, I ended on this note. Uh, again, I've talked to a lot of you guys over the previous launches. Uh, Honda trucks, we have a lot more product coming down the pipeline, so I hope in the not too distant future I get to share with you more 